what is going on my youtube family welcome back to the channel hope y'all chilling having a good sunday today is sunday day before labor day but we bring some more content y'all so today for the truck uh it's gonna be a kind of like a little spa day for the truck uh mainly for the drivetrain and the powertrain so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing an oil change uh changing the diff fluid and then i'm going to be changing the fuel filter water filter on the air dog and uh yeah just kind of just treating the truck man so a little background for y'all right so i have not you can judge me i don't care i have not changed the fuel filter since i put the air dog on right now if you go to air dog's website they tell you that their filters are good for about 12 15 thousand miles uh some people like do every other oil change so two things one I have not changed the oil on this truck since since I had it when I first changed it, right? So when I first bought the truck in November of 21, December, I changed the oil. I did the Amsoil Signature Series uh, 5W40. We did that and some Hot Shot Stiction Eliminator in it. No issues at all. Uh, reason why, now you're probably saying, well, Cam, that's like almost two years ago. It is, but you guys hear me out. I haven't really drove the truck that much in the last two years I've owned it. Uh, I bought this truck with a hundred and... 61,000 miles on it and it currently has 166,000 miles on it so i've put about six six thousand miles actually a little less than six thousand miles on the truck have not drove it that much y'all um so i really just never really pressed me to change the oil like it wasn't like you know it'd be completely different if i was daily daily driving it uh driving a lot on the highway stuff like that but i just never had a real reason to change it right but i want to change it now just because they say Amsoil says 12 months or uh, 12, I forgot, or I forgot the mileage, but 12,000, 15,000 15, miles, whichever comes first, right? I'm already past the year, so I'm already bad on that. Uh, one of the reasons why they have mileage in conjunction with uh, the time, right, for how your intervals should be is because just because you're not using it doesn't mean that you shouldn't change it, right? Uh, so don't be like me, okay? my I did the wrong thing, right? But just because that's mileage doesn't mean doesn't have mileage doesn't mean you shouldn't change it reason being is because everything has a shelf life right now something you have to consider right so you got your oil you got your engine you got your oil pan right oil pan sits at the bottom truck just sits right and the oil sits at the bottom of the pan right let's say you have the truck sit for a year kind of like what i did but not maybe not really like six months right you're still introducing that oil to a new atmosphere, right? So you're still gonna have condensation, right? One of the biggest ones. So in the morning, you know, especially if you live somewhere it's humid, condensation is going to accumulate uh, in the oil pan. That's just normal, right? But the thing is, is that usually it's not that much of, of condensation to the point where when you run the engine and it gets up to operating temp, it'll usually burn itself off, right? Meaning like it just goes away. But me being a bad person, I didn't change it, right? So now I'm gonna change the oil I'll show you guys everything we have once I get there, uh, get everything all set up and stuff like that, right? I'm going to run inside, give me a little drink real quick. But, um, yeah, so it's pretty much just a little tune-up day today. I got my little helper with me. You going to say hi? Hi. All right. I said hi. So I got a little man helping me out today. So go in here, give me a little something to drink, come back, and then we're going to go ahead and get this job started. All right, y'all, so we underneath the truck right now. The truck's lifted up on the lift. This is the first time I've been under the truck since the trans got done. But as you can see, boom. She definitely got redone, cleaned up. You put it through the parts machine. The only thing I wish I could have did was paint it. But I mean, paint is just, it is what it is. You can't even see it. So you can see here, got brand new everything. All the, all the switches and sensors are brand new Mopars, brand new gasket. I already had the RevMax deep dish pan. You come up here, you see that white connector? That's because I put a brand new Mopar freaking solenoid on here. I already had the thermal bypass here. One good thing I like is that there's no leakage. So like all the connections and stuff is all nice and dry. That right there should be the speed sensor, brand new. So it looks good down here, man. So we got the drain here for the oil. I got that easy drain valve. I'm telling y'all, if I don't have that, man, that's a game changer. And then we come back here, we got the Air Dog. This is the 5G series, 220. So we're gonna change these filters. I haven't changed them since I installed the Air Dog. I mean, I'm sure they're fine, but 
might as well change it while we got what we underneath here for the truck and then we're also going to be draining the rear diff in the back changing that out as well okay so i'm going to go ahead and drain this real quick get back to y'all while that's draining i figure i'll let y'all see what we got here so we got ams oil 5w40 signature series i only run ams oil in the truck if y'all need any ams oil hit my boy adrian up down below uh information's in the description he has all my oil needs I have, uh, and he gets you a discount too. So if you need AMS oil for your trucks, cars, boats, whatever it is, he got you, man. And we come over here, we got the air dog filters. That's the water filter, fuel filter. We're gonna be swapping those out. I went ahead and ran some of this uh, motor flush here. I actually, this stuff is really good. Uh, it just cleans up, it's pretty much diesel. So if you look in the back, the first thing on it, see right there where it says the petroleum, and then it has diesel in it as well, man. This stuff will flush out anything in your motor. Mine isn't dirty, but I still like to do it as just a maintenance effort, stuff like that. So we got the oil over here draining. Take its time. We got the easy drain valve. I'm telling y'all, man, that right there. I'll put a link down below for y'all. Easy drain valve. It makes the oil changes way faster, so, or cleaner. So we're gonna let that drain out. Also, always don't forget, make sure you always take off your oil cap up top so that way it can actually breathe and drain and stuff like that, all right? So I knew this was gonna happen. I just didn't plan on how I was gonna combat it until now. So I had to take my intake out in order to get to the oil filter from the top just because I don't have any more room on the side over here to come in now that I have the Banks boost tubes. You can see the filters there. That's the black one, the Amsoil one. So uh, I tried to pull it out through here. Not enough room now. So I had to legitimately take the intake out, which wasn't a big deal. It took 10, 5, 10 minutes to take out. Uh, but you can see the new ones in there. It's all good. Made sure the O-ring wasn't doubled up. So now we can go ahead and top her off with some oil. Put the rest of it in the truck. Something I came across, which kind of sucks, but whatever. This piece here, freaking dry rot it off. Of the, of the intake going to the turbo so now I have a new intake at the house but I got to figure out how many, I got to change that so this is all dry rotted and shot now What's up, y'all? Hey, real quick, y'all. I figured I would take time to just talk real quick. It's not going to take me long. I just want to talk. Is something? Oh, no. Okay, we good. Uh, real quick, just talk about, like, your oil, right? So, there's a huge debate out there where it's like, is it worth spending more money on higher quality oil, right? A lot of people say snake oil. A lot of people say, oh, as long as you get the API certified oil, it, it, it's good. Just do your regular interval changes and stuff. I'm not here to debate and tell you which way to go. Right at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is as long as you are changing your oil at the regular intervals, or if you're doing it sooner than that, that's all that really matters right now. A couple things to that is quality of oil, and then what brand filter you're using. Right uh, on these trucks, man, we pay too much money for these trucks to the point where you shouldn't be cheaping out getting the cheapest thing on the shelf. Right, uh, i.e., a Fram oil filter. Right, a Fram oil filter has no business on these trucks, man. I'm here to tell you that right now. Uh, if you're not going to get Mopar. If you're not going to get Fleet Guard, right, which are the OE specs for the Cummins uh, for these inline six cylinders, right, uh, get you a good filter, man, like an Amsoil. Uh, I know there's a new brand out there, Doc, Doc Diesel or Filter. I don't even know. Apparently, they got good reviews and stuff. But what I will tell you is that you are going to get what you invest in your investment, if that makes sense. All right. So since this channel has been formed, right, I've only ran Amsoil in my trucks. Uh always never had oil pressure issues never had premature oil leaks uh my last third gen had over 200,000 miles on it running amsoil since i bought it at 120,000 miles uh i've never had an oil leak on there underneath it looked beautiful um amsoil has everything in it uh this oil is 
you don't have to add stuff to it, right? Uh, there's certain companies out there that have additives and stuff you can put in your oils. Uh, yes, I've ran the additives in the past. Have I noticed a huge difference? Yes and no. It just depends, man, honestly. Uh, I think, I'm not going to say their stuff doesn't work because it probably does, but I'm just going to say for Amsoil, like, you don't have to do that. Just put the oil in your truck, run it, enjoy it, change it at your intervals. Now, obviously, when you start getting into the top tier stuff like this, your signature series where you get the, what, double, double, uh, two, two and a half times worth of the interval change. So let's say 14,000 is your normal. Now you can get 28,000. Me personally, I would, I would never recommend somebody drive their truck 28,000 miles without changing the oil. Uh, the biggest reason why I run signature series is so that way I get the, uh, the protection right the the anti-wear the scuff additives like the stuff that keeps your engine smooth and gliding right that's what i want i want the best that i can pour into there right uh you obviously get six time wear protection with this stuff man way 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 back in the day on the channel i did a video where i talked about i did an oil analysis and i sent off some amsoil uh signature series uh i want to say it had about 8,000 miles on the oil sample came back. They said it was still good to continue for another 8,000 miles and then test again So I have research backing up Amsoil and what it is man now again I'm not a salesman for them. I know it sounds like it. I'm just trying to put you guys on to something that I Stand behind a hundred percent. Uh, it doesn't cost more than your regular shelf oil. You can get at the parts store Absolutely, it does. Uh, it's not a whole lot more if you actually break it down and like if you're actually going to use like the double intervals or whatever it is right 100% synthetic no petroleum base in this stuff man uh, excellent for my dudes up north Canada if you live up north in the Dakotas Minnesota's all that stuff New York like you need to be running good quality oil in your stuff man because when you cold start your truck that is when the most wear is going to be put on the engine is during a dry start uh, dry starts really aren't a thing with Amsoil uh, that's just some food for thought y'all. It's been a minute since I talked about running good quality oil I know I changed the oils and I just say yeah Amazon Amazon like but like it really does make a difference man When I first bought this truck it had a I'm not gonna say horrible, but it had a, a nice little tick to it uh, With the engine I mean, a combination of doing the valve lash valve lash adjustment and then uh, Running Amazon about 100 miles into it man. It, it went away. It was Purring is it, this engine doesn't tick like it's just quiet man and that's what you get with high quality stuff like Amazon. so once again y'all just wanted to shout them out put them out there if you guys want some again it's gonna be down in the uh, description down below hit my man Adrian up he'll get you taken care of uh, one more thing I forgot to mention is their oil filters uh, now I am a stickler when it comes to the oil filters but this is the only non OEM brand filter I will trust on my vehicle uh, only because I've ran it on my vehicles for a long time and I've never had an issue out of them but sometimes when you get into these cheap uh, oil filters or you get into the non OEM ones uh, I know Ford is very big on theirs but like what ends up happening is your truck ends up running at a weird oil pressure man or that valve that anti drain valve ends up getting stuck in the open so every time you shut off your truck all your oil runs back to the pan and then what ends up happening is you have dry starts for the next 10,000 miles, but you won't even know it though. Uh, maybe when you first start it, you hear it and then it goes away after about a minute because the oil is circulating in your engine then. So it's just food for thought, y'all. Um, yeah, just something to think about. All right, back to the video, enjoy. So we got the old filters here, new filters there. A lot of people are questioning the air dog units for filtration because they watch a little fast video and they see the, the little live video of it separating and stuff. I call bull just because I have never, I run the diesel RX filters, the uh, Donaldson filters, never had a filtration issue. Like, it does what I need it to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these units, man, there's only one fuel pump to go with air dog. Don't even question it, right? Fast air dog, just get your air dog. You will never be disappointed and you'll never be stranded, all right? I'm telling y'all. So, we got new filters on it. Uh, it was actually kind of weird because when I took the water filter off, there's like a fit in, or there's like a port back here on the back of the air dog unit, and fuel just kept coming out. And I've never seen that before, but I don't know, maybe that's part of the 5G filter or the 5G setup. Uh, the last setup I had was a 4G, so maybe they changed it up a little bit for, for that part. But old oil filter, old oil filter. Yes, I know it's a Mopar filter. When I ordered the oil last time, they didn't have uh, AMS oil filters in stock. Old fuel filter, old water filter. So now we're going to go to the back, we're going to drain the rear diff. 
service it up. It's gonna be four courts with the banks, the rear diff cover on there. Super simple, let's get back there. y'all so went ahead wrapped everything up in the truck she's running good obviously duh uh it's just basic basic little maintenance day if you want to call it that uh oil change rear death fluid and fuel filters all done in one day I'm gonna have to look into this intake situation because that thing i know i'm losing some boost there uh just because it's cracked it's on there right now you know just to get me by uh, I do have the Banks cold air intake in the garage that I can throw on, but I can't throw it on yet because the turbo setup that I currently have, right? So uh, with the smetting kit, it slightly pushes forward the uh, turbo. So what happens is when I went to install it on the smetting turbo, it was hitting the oil filter. The elbow on the intake was on the cold air intake was hitting the oil filter so i wasn't able to use it that's why i still have the stock intake on the truck right now so uh, my first solution is to just change out the whole system which i can right now because i have the ryan's diesel service uh 64 millimeter vgt turbo and i have this the steed speed manifold that i can slap on so i'm i'm heavily debating doing that tomorrow i don't know yet uh Maybe if I get some convincing in the comment section, I might I might let it rip tomorrow. It's Labor Day, so I'll be off anyways. But uh, I would love to hear what y'all got to say. Truck's running good, man. Uh, you can't go wrong with Amsoil. I'm here to tell y'all that right now. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't tick. It's quiet. Uh, I did the valve lash on the truck like pretty much when I first bought it. I got a video showing valve lash on here when I uh, studied it. So we have the exotic studs as well. So, I mean, the truck's doing really good, man. I took it on the highway. Just to kind of get her up, up to speed, up to temp, just make sure everything was good. A uh, little bit of wheel hop in the rear. Uh, I'm not going to blame it on the tires yet because I just got them installed and balanced. Uh, there's definitely some things I can do to help the ride out. Uh, so shocks is probably going to get slid up to the top of my top of my list to help with the ride comfort and the bounce, uh, especially in the rear. And then I found on Facebook this company that makes... Uh, like these dampeners these isolators for the leaf shackles um in the back so if you have leaf shackles in the back everybody knows they're they're, they're super stiff they ride rough uh, a lot of it's hard a lot of bounce in it uh these little isolators go between where the leaf shackles mount to the frame and apparently it has nothing but like positive reviews everybody says it's worth it uh definitely helps you know what i'm saying so i might look into that uh, other than that though y'all man this is going to do it for the video hopefully y'all enjoyed it I know it wasn't the most exciting thing but it's still content to get out there so y'all can watch again if you want uh, anything Amazon related I highly encourage you to go down below hit my man Adrian up he will get you set up and he's going to give you a discount on your Amazon order if you mention me uh, all his information is down below we have that tune in if you guys need tune in I'll say I said it before I'll say it again Dirty Diesel Customs uh, links down below with the promo code promo code included, so that way you can uh, get your tuning needs set up, man. I mean, this truck rides so good, man. Right now, the, the, I'm still stuck on the transmission, y'all. So cut me some slack. I've only been driving the truck for less than a week. Uh, today actually made officially one week that I've been back from 29 Palms. So I'm still adjusting, getting all comfy and happy and stuff with that. Uh, besides that, what else we have? Uh, yeah, that's it really for this video. So. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Drop it down below in the comments. Until next time, you guys take care. Be safe, and I will see you guys soon.